can we compare infinite sets that's what we are going to see today <laughs> Famous mathematician George Cantor developed a method for measuring the size or cardinality of infinite sets. Broadly, we can categorize infinite sets into two categories: countably infinite sets and uncountably infinite sets. So we have the notion of a countable set and an uncountable set here. Let's see what is a countable set. A countable set is a set that is either a finite set or has the same cardinality as set of positive integers. So, which all sets are countable? One thing is sure, if a set is a finite set, then that set is countable. Now, if it is not a finite set, meaning if it is an infinite set, it has to have the same cardinality as set of positive integers. Then we say that that set is countable set. An uncountable set is nothing but a set which is not countable. Alright, let's see an example of a countable set which is also infinite. As an example of a countable set, we say the set of odd positive integers. Now, when a set of odd positive integers is said to be a countable set, it has to have the same cardinality as set of positive integers, right? So, is a cardinality of set of positive integers and set of odd positive integers same? Turns out that yes, they have the same cardinality. Now, how do we prove it? Remember a bijection. A bijection is a function from a set A to set B, right? And a bijection is both 1 to 1 and 1 to. So, we know that when a bijection is there from a set A to set B, it means that cardinality of A is same as cardinality of B. Now that's what we are going to show. We are going to show that there exists a bijection between the set of positive integers and the set of odd positive integers. Now, if we show such a bijection exists, it means that the cardinality of set of positive integers is same as cardinality of set of odd positive integers. Alright, consider the function f of n equal to 2n minus 1 where f is a function from set of positive integers to set of odd positive integers. Alright, now f is nothing but a one to one correspondence or a bijection. So, we have to prove it. Now, to prove f is a bijection, we have to show that f is both one to one and on to. Let's prove f is one to one. We know that when a function is one to one, f of a equal to f of b implies a equal to b, right? No two elements in the domain map to a same element in the codomain. That's what it means. So here, let's suppose that f of a equal to f of b here. Now here f of n is nothing but 2n minus 1. Implying that f of a is 2a minus 1 and f of b is 2b minus 1. So f of a equal to f of b means 2a minus 1 equal to 2b minus 1. Which implies that 2a equal to 2b which implies that a equal to b. So here f of a equal to f of b implies that a equal to b. So, the function has to be a one to one function. Alright, let's prove f is on to. To prove f is on to, we need to show that the range is equal to codomain. Meaning, every element in the codomain has a pre range that we have to show. Then we can say that f is an on to function. So, here the function is f of n equal to 2n minus 1 and it is from set plus to odd positive integers, right? Now, Take, a, take an arbitrary element in the odd positive integer set. So, let's consider an arbitrary element t, which is an odd positive integer. Now, we are showing that there exists a pre-image for this element t in the set of positive integer set. Now, the pre-image of the element t is nothing but the element t plus 1 by 2 in the set of positive integers. So, suppose that the element n from the set of positive integers is mapped to the element t belonging to the odd positive integer set. Meaning that f of n equal to 2n minus 1. So, 2n minus 1 is t. Implying that 2n equal to t plus 1. Implying n equal to t plus 1 by 2. So, the element t plus 1 by 2 has been mapped to the element t in the odd positive integer set. So, you take any arbitrary element t in the odd positive integer set. 
we have a pre image t plus 1 by 2 in our set of positive integers so meaning that every element in the codomain have a pre image thus f is an on to function so after proving that f is both on to 1 and on to we conclude that f is a bijection and hence the cardinality of set of odd positive integers is same as the cardinality of set of positive integers so this is the one to one correspondence here one is mapped to one two is mapped to three 3 is mapped to 5, 4 is mapped to 7 and so on. An infinite set is countable if and only if it is possible to list the elements of that set in a sequence which is indexed by the positive integers. If we can list the elements in a sequence indexed by the set of positive integers, we can call that set as a countably infinite set. Now the reason for this is that a one to one correspondence exists the set of odd positive integers to the set s which can be expressed as a sequence so a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma a4 comma a5 when we express this as a sequence it means that a1 is nothing but f of 1 a2 is nothing but f of 2 a3 is nothing but f of 3 and so on that's how we express it as a sequence so if we can express such sequence then we can say that the infinite set is countable we have shown that the set of odd positive integers and the set of positive integers have the same cardinality. Now another question. Now we ask whether the set of integers and the set of positive integers have the same cardinality. Think about it. We will meet in the next lecture to discuss that.